Welcoming well, back Joe Gavassi, NFL analyst. Joe is coming off another big win last night on Thursday Night Football, taking those Vikings that uh, almost didn't need any of those points. But that's what Joe does. He studies well, and it pays off. This is the crusher of the week. We have the Tennessee Titans going to play the New York Jets in the Big Apple. Joe, you love the Jets minus the seven, okay, for the crusher of the week. And uh, I'm just anxious to hear your breakdown, you know, Mariota and company coming off of a big win last week. Of course, it was against Jacksonville, but, you know, they really did some things well uh, that they hadn't done in a while. Uh, where's the edge here, and, and where's the confidence that you're gaining from this Jets team minus the seven to cover the game? When the technicals and the fundamentals line up on the same side, there can only be one selection, and it can only be our NFL crusher of the week. The Tennessee win last week is akin to a blind pig finding an acorn because Tennessee is now just 5-23 and 23 straight up on the, in the recent 28 games and also just 7-18 is an underdog recently. It gets worse technically because when Tennessee comes off a high-scoring win in which they score 28 or more points, they are 0-11 and 11 against the spread the following game. If the Tennessee Titans felt they were abused by the Jacksonville pass rush last week, they ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till the New York Jets put and unleash their pass rush on quarterback Mariota. Not only that, but the New York Jets have a strong running game which can take advantage of a Tennessee Titans defense. I like the fundamentals here. I love the technicals here. And I love the combination of the two which ends up on the New York Jets as a momentum team after their strong comeback versus the Giants and two consecutive home wins on this field to crush the visiting Tennessee Titans. Well, Joe, you know, and, and not to interrupt you, I was my only question, and, and I really wanted your advice on this, almost, you know, to the point of making a decision for me to jump on this or not. Does the lack of passing game that the Jets show, because, uh, you know, they just don't have that like they did in years past, does that not concern you with maybe some momentum coming from the Titans from that come behind victory? Um, you still think that cushion of seven is doable? I think it's a letdown spot for the Titans. I think it's a momentum spot for the New York Jets off yeah. the two home wins and the comeback win versus the Giants, both on this field. I feel comfortable with this pick as a double-digit victory for the Jets. Okay, and again, you know, Todd Bowles has done a great job out there, and this team is, is a much different looking team than years past. And you said something that I, I don't think the hammer could have hit the head of the nail any harder. Uh, the, the Titans have not seen the defensive line and pressure that they're going to get against these Jets, and I think also that might just smother the hell out of Mariota. Uh, he does not have an offensive line that's able to stand in the trenches against such a force that the Jets are going to, uh, you know, uh, bring to him. So I like it. Viewers, there's no reason to to not jump aboard again uh, with Joe Gabasi, but the New York Jets minus seven for the crusher of the week against the Tennessee Titans. Joe, thank you so much for being on board with us. Happy holidays to you and your to you and yours, excuse me. And uh, we're looking forward to having you back again real soon with another winner. My pleasure as always to be with you, the SBR video team, and of course you guys out there. Let's let the winning continue.